Okay, so we got this 5 HP 19 pound body. We'll open up, go through, clean it up, and put it back together. Uh, okay, so the first thing I want to do is the solenoids and stuff is going to stay in this lower front section. So we have the EDS1 solenoid back here that I want to disconnect and bring the wire down. Okay, so let's pop this clip off here. Uh, we're going to just leave the wire in there and pop this clip off. Okay. Now we got to get it. Let's see. Let's see this is going to come out. Okay. All right. So this is unplugged. I just kind of, kind of move this tab up a little bit, and, and you know, I get the screwdriver like in here, and just very carefully give it a push, and it'll come right out. Okay, so this solenoid here is your EDS-1 solenoid. And if you have, uh, pretty much on 2003, I believe, and up, for some reason these solenoids can come mechanically clogged. And when they come mechanically clogged, it can raise up line pressure. So what you would feel if this solenoid gets mechanically clogged is you would have uh, um, harsh engagements and I believe also like coast downshifts would be harsh as well. So this is your EDS-1 solenoid. So I did want to point that out. Okay, so let's take the uh, top section here of the bow body out. I believe these are 27s. Let's see. Yes. Okay. another section of the valve body here. Okay, so. Probably this one here. Let's take these out. Okay, these are these are longer because there's that other section, a little section of the valve body, so these bolts are, are longer. Pretty much it's all in the channel plate. A lot of stuff in this one. Okay, so let's lift this up. I, I thought this transmission was going to be a lot worse, you know, from this uh, pump, pump being bad. Okay, so now we want to take this little other section off here that houses, houses the EDS-1. I don't really hear too many, too much else about these solenoids. I think they're, you know, okay. Solenoids. Okay. 
this uh, here is your input speed sensor uh, you know that attaches to the case goes actually underneath the valve body this is your output speed sensor we got to clean up Okay. So now we gotta lift this plate up very carefully. Because there's a, all those orifices. see any that are stuck to the plate. Honestly, I'm not really sure where they are, but... I think in this one, there's a lot of them. Here's a, a check valve here. So what I'm going to do is like I always do, I'm going to flip this thing up and just move it over a little here. And I'm going to flip it up and just bring it right over. So whatever, you know, we can figure out what goes where, if there is anything stuck to the plate, which there normally is. stuck to the plate. Alright, so let me just put these back in place here. So we got this one. It's gonna go here. Okay, then we got two purple ones. Okay, one. Gonna go here. One is gonna go here. And then this one is gonna go here. Okay. gasket which we're going to change all right so so we have the orifices we got one two 
three, four, five, six, seven, whoops, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. I lost count already. We got three check valves, uh, some check balls, uh, a, couple, uh, a couple of dampers, a uh, filter, and probably about 20 of these orifices that absolutely have to go back in the right spot. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to mark all of these. All right, let me just get my tool. Just give me one second. Okay. Uh, let me see if I can actually get a little closer here. Move the camera down a little. And then we're going to clean everything up. And I'll give you a shot of all the goodies in this thing. It has a lot of them. This one takes a lot. look at a diagram it's really not that easy with ZF because they're all different you know even if you call um, uh, I don't even know if you can get diagrams from ZF place uh, a distributor take these things out one at a time. And try to lay them out as they come out. Okay, so we have the valve here. Cross. Okay. And we got three in a row. And in that yellow. And these orifices are all different sizes. That's why when I do these, <clears throat> I gotta be alone. No, no, no interruptions. Okay, so this one here. All right, now we got a check ball. Then we have the white ones. The white ones use the rows on the bottom. Easy. Two. Okay. Let me go straight up. Go to purple. And it looks like an orange. And right, got another check. 
check ball here, and at the other end, another relief valve, and another white orifice. Screen. Okay, so we have now, all right, so let's see. So light blue, okay, so we have yellow. It's gonna go about here. Okay, now straight up from where this check ball is on the bottom, we have a purple and another yellow. Okay, so we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. About eighteen of them. Eighteen of them. And then I just gotta double check and make sure. Alright, now the dampers. I gotta get the dampers out. Okay, so these should be able just to push right out. Right down out. Alright, one more here. Okay. Okay, they're easy. Can't mix those up. Got it. All right, so I'm just gonna uh, I'm gonna clean everything up now. I just want to flat sand this because I made all those marks. I flat sand it anyway. this back together. Alrighty, so I will be back in a little bit uh, with everything all nice and cleaned up. I'm just going to go through everything, you know, the valves, uh, make sure all the valves are free and stuff like that. So um, I will be back shortly. Alright, um, something that I wanted to do here, uh, you got a couple of uh, accumulators here. And these accumulator ends, uh, or the, uh, the end plugs, have uh, O-rings on them. So I want to change these O-rings because they do come in the ZF kit. So you got to squeeze this clip and raise, oh, raise up on it. Here. Got, I think some pretty hefty springs in them. So let's pick this up. Right, here is the accumulator here, so uh, I have the original, there's a little sub kit. Um, they give you some valve body parts in it. So this is uh, one of the accumulators here. Right, this looks in pretty good 
shape, so we'll put this back in. There is a valve up in there, but the valve looks like it's held in with a stopper. All right, so we can put this back in here. Okay. So we've got some grease on that O-ring. So that's one, and now we'll do the other. All right, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna squeeze it to get it out. Okay. okay this one, this spring, I guess, is not all right. It's there. All right, I'm just going to take this out so I can drain the oil. Okay, so here, here is the other one. That's what it looks like. All right, so let's just put this back in place. Okay, let me get the O-ring. wanted to do that with you guys. What I'm going to do now is I'm just going to get this valve body set up. Uh, I'm going to put all the little orifices and springs back in here. Uh, finish cleaning everything up and I'm going to give you a shot of what that channel plate looks like. And then we can proceed in putting this back together. Okay, so once again, I will be back in a few minutes. All right, so there's a shot with all the uh, orifices and dampers and check balls and check valves and screen in it. And what I do, uh, what I actually did before I took anything apart uh, is I you know, once the gasket was off and, and this was like this and uh, I put all the orifices where they belong, I just took a fast picture of it with my phone uh, in case any of any issues before I took anything out. So you may want to do that or draw a road map or something. You know, when I'm working with solenoids and switching out valve bodies like in 09Gs or something, I you know, take pictures and draw and, and write down wire colors where the solenoids are and stuff like that. So just uh, for a reference, because these, this 19 valve body, this thing is no joke. A lot of stuff in this one. All right, so I'm going to uh, switch angles again and we'll start putting this back together. And I wanted to show you one other thing uh, in the small section of the valve body where the EDS-1 solenoid is as well. Okay. All right, so I got my gasket, and I want to make sure all the uh, everything is good there. So I'm going to kind of um, put it up against the plate and take a look at it. Everything looks good. Okay, so we're going to attach the gasket on here. set this in place. Okay. 
All right, now we have our uh, lineup pin right here. Uh, so I'm actually gonna put this in first. Now we gotta get the manual valve in that channel also. free and again I don't really um, uh, I don't really uh, blow off the valve body because I don't want anything to fly out just put a couple of these bolts in here Okay, now another thing that I did want to show you, you got an orifice right in here. Um, I'm not sure if this thing can come out or not. It doesn't fall out easily, but again, I wouldn't, uh, you know, I mean, it's possible it can't come out uh, if you use a, a, maybe like a scribe or something. But, um, oh, there it is. I just got it. All right, so you want to be careful with this one. That's what that thing looks like. I'm going to put it back in so I don't lose it. Okay. All right, so when I was rinsing this off, it sits down in there pretty far. When I was rinsing, rinsing it off, it didn't, it didn't fall out. But again, that's another reason why I don't like to blow any of these sections of the valve body off. Okay, so here's the back section. So what we're going to do is set this in place. All right, let's get a couple of bolts here. Hold this in. And then we can go ahead and put this uh, auxiliary section on. Let's see where these Okay, so this one, we got four there, one more here. Okay. This section of the valve body, there's nothing in here. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and put that on.
here. This bolt here uh, is kind of like on its own here. It's a uh, probably it's one of like a like it lines ev everything up, you know, on the valve body. There's actually a few different. Uh, this section you got you got this bolt. You got the extra long bolts, and they have uh, uh, the regular valve body bolts that have the uh, larger heads on them. So I just kind of want to take note where everything goes and in this bottom section you have the two ones with the larger heads and then the regular bow body bolts. I'm going to torque these down about 85 inch pounds. so much work here. But when I get this stuff, I certainly try to film it.
going to do is hook, up, hook back up the uh, PDS-1. All right, so we're just going to plug that in. I'm going to put this here. Put this here. We got the little cap here that comes with it, the cover. Okay. All right, let's make sure we're good here. Everything is tight. Okay, the manual valve is in the channel. Okay, that moves. And that's it. I'm going to put some new wall rings here. And that is it for the 5HP19 valve body. It's daylight out now, but I thank you guys for watching. And have a great day. We'll see you next one.